And I was sitting at home like everyone else and scrolling through Facebook and I'm a member of um, a group on Facebook called Marion County Facebook page. And I saw a post from a lady named Tiffany that was posting drawings of her son of the McDonald's arches saying they were looking for arches for her son. The post that she did had all of these drawings with the arches. I mean, dozens and dozens of arches and drawings. For Scott, who works with us, saw that post and then tagged me and I saw it and I'm like, we're gonna hook him up. <laughs> Well, Devin is 15 years old. Um, he's in the seventh grade. Um, he's autistic. Uh, he's considered nonverbal autistic. Um, he's a fun kid. Different challenges with Devin, you know, but when you have kids that don't have autism or don't have another underlying problem, um, you set goals for them that are similar to every other kid. But with Devin, we had to set different goals. One thing that brought him a lot of joy was drawing pictures. And uh, as soon as he learned to put a pencil to paper, he started drawing the things that he liked. He loves to draw. He has a real big fascination of the Golden Arches. He loves drawing it. He loves going and taking pictures of it. He will draw it all day if he could. Me and Tiffany were thinking, like, we want to do something really big for him, but we don't know how. And they said, uh, you know what would be great if we can get him some arches? And then I, I think uh, uh, Cheryl, a friend here, um, she's like, well, why don't you make, like, a Facebook post? I was like, that's a great idea. And I was like, well, you post it here, and I'll post it here. And it just so happened mine and it actually took off before his. I was like, oh. People are coming on mine. At that moment, all the connections did come together. Like, all the dots got connected. Um, the light bulb went off in my head, and I was like, well, that everything makes sense now. Because I saved these arches, had no clue why I was saving them. They had been sitting in my garage. Um, and then when I saw that post, it all just connected for me. He came across that. He brought it to the team and said, hey, guys, look at this. And uh, I, I think we're, we were all on the same page from day one. There wasn't really a whole lot of conversation. This kid needed to get a sign. <laughs> I uh, immediately made a uh, messenger to her and said, would these work for you? And she was excited. She was beyond happy and static that uh, somebody was willing to give them to her. What I did, I ended up hopping out my seat going, baby, baby, baby. I was trying to find them. I'm running through. I was like, he's like, what? I was like, McDonough, McDonough, read that. <laughs> He's just prolific in his production of art with the arches. So, um, you know, all that married together, this was just the perfect opportunity to see about him and take care of him and just make his day, hopefully, um, super special. Devin doesn't get to participate in a lot of the things that kids his age do. He doesn't have sleepovers. He doesn't sleep anywhere else. He, he's, he's, he's not difficult, but he requires, he has different needs. That, that's our purpose of doing this was like to bring, to make something about Devin. We wanted it to be for Devin, about Devin. My baby is just, I don't know, it's just exciting for him to see him like, just happy. He's got his uh, the, his McDonald's flag all across his bed now. He's got his art books up, so he knows where to grab them. I know he's happy because I, I can hear him. <laughs> uh, I want to say thanks. Uh, uh, um, I mean, from the bottom of my heart, it meant a lot that, that people would, would, would show him the attention for no reason other than to bring joy to him. Actually, it made us cry. <laughs>
Yeah, finding those signs down on the ground after the hurricane, um, I don't know, when the arches fall <laughs> kind of thing, it felt like that, like everything you knew and worked for, you know, is, is on the ground, and, and that was one of the things on the ground, and then be able to take that from, from all of the fear and anxiety and grief and loss that we all felt um, from that, to turn that around and make that into a celebration is a really good spot. This is just a good moment. It inspires me because we try to shine the arches every day to provide a great experience for our guests to come in. And it, it warms my heart to know that I can do that for a total stranger that I've never met except for five seconds on Facebook. It feels really special that I can come home today and give somebody from my hometown these arches. It's a special feeling, for sure. I mean, not very many people are in this position where they can bring a brand to life to a little kid, and I think it's really rewarding for me personally to be able to do such. Very cool day. I can't say thank you enough. I really can't. It's just it's a big deal for him, and to see him have be light up, it's like, oh, wow. Instead of traveling to where you want to be, we wanted to make where we are where we want to be. So that's what we're trying to do for him too. Yeah. It moves him, and if it moves him, it moves us.